Okay, so I'm going to show how to disassemble or to open up a 27-inch iMac model A1419. Um, so it's a pretty simple process. Um, you'll need a tool, something thin like this, um, so that you can cut the adhesive. So what you'll do is you'll just insert the tool in the gap. And then you'll just, I already opened it, but what you'll do is you'll insert the tool in the gap like this. And then just go along the edge kind of making sure not to go too far. You'll actually hear the adhesive um, that you'll be cutting. Um, they use like a double stick tape with like a foam in the middle. So you just go all the way around the top and the two sides. Um, once you cut that, uh, you might not cut through it all the way in the in the beginning. So, but once you go around, you'll be able to kind of pull it forward to make like a little gap. And as you have, um, cut you can keep pulling on it and you'll feel that that anywhere that you can't pull it um, you should like keep cutting there with the with the tool um, once you do that you can pull the for the screen forward slightly just enough to kind of get your hand between the two layers um, you'll see that there's uh, two connectors here holding um, attached to the screen and the board so the smaller connector what you'll need to do, um, there's two of these kind of plastics where they kind of spring outwards to hold it in place. So what you gotta do is you have to pinch it well, and then you can pull it up while you're pinching on it. So just do that and then it might be a little tricky. So let's see here, hard to do this while filming. But yeah, so once you can pinch it, it comes out pretty easily. Right, and then the other connector, it just has this metal latch that you can use a pry tool or your fingernail to get under. Just flip it up, and then once you got that up, you can actually just pull the connector straight up. Okay, then the screen, you kind of don't want to lean it all the way down, um, because then this adhesive um, can tear off. So I like to leave that adhesive there, so it's easy to kind of put it back. Um, so once you get that, uh, you'll want to remove the two screws here for the speaker. All right. All right, and then just move the speaker aside a little bit. You don't want to take it out completely, um, or you might accidentally pull the power button cable out. Um, if you're taking the whole thing apart, then you can do that, um, but I'm just going to show how to do the hard drive. So there's the power supply here, this connector, and then the motherboard, and the other speaker. And then you got the fan here, and you got these antennas. Okay, so I already peeled off the adhesive as good as I could. Some of the sticky residue got stuck there. Um, usually that's okay, but if you can, try and get out as much of it as possible. And then um, they sell the adhesive on Amazon, or you can use like a regular double stick adhesive. Just make sure if you put the adhesive, depending how thin it is, you might want to put two layers because um, the adhesive they use with the foam is a little bit thicker. All right, so once you do that, move the speaker side. Um, there's two screws here. I took one out just so to make it a little bit easier while I'm holding the camera. Um, but pretty much um, you'll have to remove the two screws here. Um, you can actually disconnect this first. Um, just wiggle it and while you're pulling it up. Okay. And then remove the two screws from the side of the hard drive. Drop it in there or it'll be kind of tough to get it back out. All right, hang on to the drive so it doesn't fall. So once you get that, the hard drive is actually just held in place by these metal posts. Um, make sure to hold on to the bracket as well because that's going to fall. So yeah, so let me see if I can do that since I don't want it to drop in there. All right, so just grab both pieces and then you can pull this out. And then you can replace this with, uh, if you put an SSD, since the SSDs are smaller, you'll need a um, bracket. You can get those um, anywhere online or in some stores. A uh, two and a half inch to three and a half inch um, drive um, adapter. So just make sure it's um, designed for this because Apple, they specifically use only the, the outer screw holes. So as long as the uh, adapter ha has the holes for these sides, then you'll be able to use it. All right, so you can set that aside. Um, alternatively, what I do is, if I don't have the adapters, um, I'll actually thread a um, twist tie through here, and then you can actually thread the twist tie through the other side and just hang like 
like with all four sides in the middle like this so it's actually good for vibration but SSDs don't have that issue so um, yeah so that's one another way you can do it if you don't want to go and get the caddy it is a little bit more work to do it this way um, but if you wanted to get it done and you didn't want to get the adapter that's one way to do it all right uh, that's pretty much it. Make sure when you put the adhesive to put, um, yeah, to put it all the way around and then kind of press it and make sure, um, sometimes what you'll want to do is wrap some tape over the front to the back just to hold the adhesive there for a while to, so that it can, um, get a better grip. Um, the longer the tape sits while it's pressed together, it'll actually hold better. So... Yeah, other than that, that's pretty much it. Once you put the hard drive back and make sure to put these screws in, double check this cable's not disconnected. Um, then reconnect the two connectors. Make sure that this latch goes back over the, the thing here. And then just connect this one. Uh, after you do that, um, put this back up and you're pretty much done. Um, so that's it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.